Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Canfield, and today we're going to learn about figurative language and idioms. Figurative language is when words or phrases don't mean their actual dictionary definition. They mean something different. For example, have you ever heard the phrase, I have butterflies in my stomach? It doesn't mean there's actual butterflies in your stomach. It's a phrase that means you're really nervous. So today we're going to read the book, Even More Parts, to help us understand some very common forms of figurative language. Sometimes I wish my stupid ears weren't always open wide. They hear such strange and crazy talk. I'm scared to go outside. I jotted down a list of all the scary things I've heard. Believe me, all these are real. I wrote them word for word. To leave my bedroom unprepared, I have to be a fool. Excuse me now, there's work to do before I go to school. I lost my head. Doesn't really mean that your head is missing, but it means something else, like maybe you are forgetful. You might also hear, it makes my head spin. I laughed my head off. My head is in the clouds. I keep changing my mind. Doesn't really mean that he takes his brain in and out of his skull. You might also hear, I keep an open mind. My mind is wandering. I lost my marbles. All eyes on me. You've probably heard your teacher say that. It doesn't mean throw your eyeballs on me, but it means to pay attention. You might also hear some phrases like, I cried my eyes out. I have eyes in the back of my head. My eyes are glued to the television. My ears are burning. Doesn't really mean that your ears are on fire. Some other phrases you might hear. I'll give you an earful. Hey, I'm all ears. Lend me your ears. My nose is running. My nose is buried in a book. Keep your nose out of other people's business. I just follow my nose. I'm tongue tied. I just got a tongue lashing. Oops, a slip of the tongue. I told 10 tough tongue twisters. Don't give me any lip. Loose lips sink ships. I zipped my lips. My lips are sealed. I have a frog in my throat. Doesn't really mean that there's an actual frog in your throat. That's figurative language for when you're having a hard time speaking. I have butterflies in my stomach. Cat got your tongue? No, I have ants in my pants. I sang my heart out. Doesn't really mean when you sing your heart will pop out. It just means that you sang really hard and tried your best. 
She stole my heart. Have a heart. I have a heart of steel. I'm heart, hard hearted. My stomach is growling. My fists are flying. My teeth are chattering. My tongue is wagging. Please lend me a hand. Doesn't really mean to take off your hand and let somebody borrow it. It's another way to ask for help. I'm shorthanded. You have a green thumb. No, two green thumbs. I love finger food. It costs me an arm and a leg. It's just another way to say that something is really expensive. I had to foot the ball. I had to pay through the nose. Try what I do. Put your money where your mouth is. I put my foot in my mouth. Oof, I started off on the wrong foot. Always put your best foot forward. I'm feeling footloose. I'd better tow the line. Here's my tow truck. That's not an idiom. That's a pun. Just a joke. It made my skin crawl. It made my jaw drop. It made my hair stand on end. It made my stomach turn. I got all bent out of shape. I couldn't keep a straight face. I got my nose out of joint. You twisted my arm. I went to pieces. Pull yourself together. I came unglued. You've got guts. There are so many crazy things I have to keep in mind. I surely don't want to accidentally leave my parts behind. Mom says, dear, it's time for school. Let's go or you'll be late. Then dad says, just remember, son, keep your head on straight. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed today's read aloud and remember to be looking for figurative language when you are reading your books. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educational activities. Check out my website, learnelementary.com, or connect with me on Instagram and Twitter at learnelementary.